Okay, here we have an RL circuit. We're trying to measure the phase. It's actually an RC circuit. We're trying to measure the phase shift like we're going to be doing in lab today. These won't be the same answers because we don't have the same components. So what we have is the yellow line is your input voltage, uh, blue line is your output voltage, and the peaks don't line up because we have a phase shift going on. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, to make the, cert the signals as big as possible. This is what I got after doing auto set. So again, we want to line up the ground so that the circuits, the waveforms are in the middle. And then we can increase the amplitude of this. And then we can go in and measure. Uh, now our input is 3.92 volts peak to peak. Output is 1.5 volts peak to peak. So the ratio of that is your uh, Z. We know the period of channel 1 and the period of channel 2 are both the same. Uh, imagine that's input, output, linear system. So now what we're trying to do is figure out the phase uh, shift, which is the difference between the time of the two picks, peaks. So we can go to our cursor button. And what we want is our cursor, we want time. And then what we want to do is align one peak right there. And then switch to the other peak. And this one is going to be on the other peak right there. And so what we have is 5.8 milliseconds uh, between the two peaks. Uh, so the, where did it go? Oh, it's 5.8 milliseconds, and so the, the, the phase shift, if we go back to measure, uh, we have 28.8, and then our cursors, uh, so it's basically 5.8 over 28.8, and then times 360 degrees to get our phase shift in degrees. As you can see, this is a lead so that the blue one is happening before in time, so it's leading by whatever angle that happens to be.